The numbers are fairly staggering. 66 riders, over 4,000 miles, and almost $500,000 raised for cancer research, treatment, and prevention. The Texas 4000 Journey is the longest annual charity bike ride in the world, which starts in Austin, Texas, and ends in Anchorage, Alaska. The group of students passed through the Peace Region this weekend on the back stretch of their 70-day journey. It's been really amazing. So I think you have a lot of conceptions of what it's going to be like to meet people all along the South or the Midwest or Canada or whatever it may be. And the first thing that you realize is we're all a lot more similar than you think we would be. Um, one thing that has been this huge current through all the people we've met is generosity. The group experienced some of that generosity in Taylor when they stopped for lunch on Saturday. Unbeknownst to us, another patron of the restaurant paid for all of our meals, left without saying a word. Um, so if they're watching, we thank you very much. He didn't even like tell us he was paying for our food. He just paid for it quietly and then left. Um, it's, it's very humbling to see that generosity and it definitely is a, a huge lesson that I've learned. I want to be that person in the future that shows that generosity to others. The 66 riders split up into three different groups that all take different routes to Alaska in order to meet as many cancer survivors, patients, and caregivers as possible. The Ozarks route, which came through the piece, has been hosted by the Fort St. John Rotary Club the last three years. I think a lot of us go, holy smokes, that's a long ways to come on a, on a bike. I myself couldn't imagine it and to, to go all the way to Alaska. I mean, we get people from the states coming through here to Alaska all the time, but they're in a big motorhome. They're not on a bike. The three separate groups will be meeting up in Whitehorse in about a week. From there, the 66 riders will have 10 days to reach their final destination in Anchorage, Alaska. Peter Houston, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.